Well, hello again and welcome back to Fallout 76, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me again. Uh, I think we're where we started the last episode. I could be wrong about that. Uh, we're just south of this abandoned uh, waste dump. And in the last episode, we went into the waste dump and we found a bunker that belonged to old Sam Blackwell. It's pretty interesting. Learned a little bit about Sam and uh, his daughter down there. And one thing we did find was uh, this quest here called One of Us. I found Sam Blackwell's Congressional Bunker Access Card. I should have it head over to the White Spring and see if it still works. If I choose this quest, we'll see that uh, we need to go way over here to the, this uh, White Spring Bunker. We are currently... where are we in the world? We're currently right here. So that's kind of far away. I mean, of course, I could fast travel over here. But I figured that uh, maybe we would go there later. Maybe if we find ourselves in this part of the world, we'd go over there and uh, check that out then. Uh, so I was looking at my other quests available, and I've got this one here called Early Warnings that we were doing some work on before. Uh, now that I've gotten the fan motors, I need to find heating coils as well. Abby's recording mentioned I can find them in Raleigh's bunker, Ella's bunker, the nearby relay tower and her own bunker. So we need to get some more heating coils. And if we look on the map, we'll see that uh, there is one up here at Ella's bunker and one over here at this relay, relay tower. We are currently down here. Um, I could fast travel here and walk over, but what fun is that? Let's just uh, start walking up this road here and um, we will cruise on up to this bunker and uh, see what there is to see. It's a nice night for a walk. I'm sure there's nothing dangerous out here. I'm just running around in here. It sounds like I'm even barefoot. I'm not. I still don't think I am. I don't know. I don't know if I'm barefoot or not. Where is this road? I started running in this direction because I thought I was going to come up against a road. What's this right here? Investigate the Southern Bell Motel. Why is that on my screen? Investigate the Southern Bell Motel. Some kind of miscellaneous quest has just appeared here. It's not even a miscellaneous quest. It's a, it's a daily miscellaneous quest. Um, for some reason that sounds familiar to me. Have I already done this? I don't know. Let's, let's, I, let me look at the map. Well, maybe not. Maybe I haven't been here. I'm remembering... Somewhere there was a hotel that we visited. Maybe I'm thinking of this. Okay, maybe we haven't been here. Okay, well, maybe let's take a little bit of a detour and go over to this thing, see what the heck this is. I don't know. I don't know why this has shown up. But it has, so, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and do it. What the heck? Why not? I wish it was daytime, though. I don't like it when it's nighttime. Investigate the Southern Bell Motel. Well, we've got... Oh, he's already, he already sees me? Good lord. How the heck does he already see me? Man. Face me, coward. I, I... Let's see here. Um... Whoa. Holy hell. Whoa, what? Uh, huh? Quest started event free range. Okay, now there's all kinds of quests starting. Guide a pack of abandoned Brahmin back home. So, can he... I'm wondering if he can see me, because I have the this perk that allows me to, um, you know, kind of have them lose me. Slippery humans. Okay, so maybe he has lost track of me. Well, that's kind of cool. Uh, well, crap, now I have an event and a miscellaneous here. Ah, oh, man, I don't know which one to do. Well, I guess I'll do the event. I know I keep changing my mind, sorry. I didn't know all these events were going to come up. Um, I had asked you guys in the, you know, how do I level up? What's a good way? And several of you said to do events, and now there's an event. So I'm going to turn off this miscellaneous daily quest. And we are instead going to do this event. I found a pack of abandoned Brahmin on the road. Okay, if you say so. The out-of-commission Mr. Farmhand that was in charge of them has a shepherd's crook and some instructions on how to herd them using the power of the crook. What the? <laughs> I could get these Brahmin home. That was weird how that changed all of a sudden. Uh, okay, what? Okay, I'm... Sp 
What the hell's going on? It's so much stuff changing up here. <laughs> uh, equip a shepherd's crook to herd Brahmin. Okay, well, um, there's a bunch of stuff in this direction here, so let's cruise on over here. Let's see what the heck is up. I don't like being that close to that super mutant place there. And uh, there is a glowing mutant hound over there. Oh, there's a player over here too. Is he doing the same thing I'm doing? Is this like a team thing? Can we both do this? Can I get the shepherd's crook? I don't know. Well, he's over there. Where do I get the crook from? He probably already got it. Uh, Del okay. Delano farmhead directive. Uh, instruction set, attach shepherd's crook, begin loop, target Brahmin, use shepherd's crook, confirm direction, Delano Grange, end loop. Okay, I got the crook. Defend the Brahmin. Okay, I'm gonna help this guy, I guess. What are we defending on here? Earl. Now, is, is this a going wolf? Hey, leave this Brahmin alone. I hope I'm shooting the wolf and not Earl. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, good for you. Your weapon's way better than mine. Let's go, Ord... Ordetheus. Let's go. Uh, do I need to equip this thing? I guess I do, don't I? Um, is it a weapon? Shepherd's Crook. Okay, here we go. Oh, whoops. How did... How's he rigging that thing? How's he rigging the crook? I don't... How's he doing that? I don't understand how he's... How's he doing that? I don't know how he's doing that. What's going on? Come on, let's go. So, if we do this, do we both get credit for it? I wish I knew how he was ringing that bell. What is this right here? I think that balloon's on it. What the hell's this? Mr. Squeeze, what is going on? Heard. Oh, okay. Now I know how he's doing it. Okay. I really don't know where I'm going. What is this? Mr. Squeeze. What's up? I do hope Master Jimmy returns soon with Oh, it's this guy. We came across this guy earlier. I think we're missing a, um... A Brahmin? What's up, dude? Esmeralda, get up here. Come on, let's go. Come on, Esmeralda. Are you stuck? Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on, Esmeralda. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good, Esmeralda. Good. Good, Esmeralda. Come on. Boy, she's a slow one. She's a slow old girl. Did I mention that I wish it wasn't nighttime? Just would like to see what I'm doing. Looks like Ordithius is fighting the Mr. Squeeze. Okay, here we go. Time to herd. Oh, 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 oh! Well, you're way better at that than I am, so I'll just let you do it. <laughs> look, look. Duke is pushing Mr. Squeeze out of the way. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come on, Earl. Earl, you're not doing so well. Come on. Oh, yep. Oh. Why does Mr. Squeeze have to be right freaking here? God. <laughs> let's go. Get out of the way, Mr. Squeeze. Oh, whoa. Earl shot up there real quick. Oh, there you go. Good, Miss. Good Earl. Good Earl. How far do we have to go here? Come on, let's go. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. That hurt. Don't die. Jeez, his weapon's way better than mine. Way better. I need to switch back to my crook. Ali is, well, he's more than twice the level that I am. 
He's almost three times the level I am. Whoa! What? What? Oh no! Legendary Noxious Sheep Squatch? Like my weapon does like no damage to this thing. What just hit me? Oh, good pull. There's, enough. There's more than one? Um, this isn't good. Um, this is not good. This is not good. Holy mother. <laughs> What's hitting me? Where's my freaking, um... Oh, there we go. Excavator armor. Get in. Get in it, dude. This might protect me a little bit. My weapon's doing nothing against these things. Look at this. It's doing nothing. Oh, the only... The only, uh... Uh, the only uh, cow that's still alive is Esmeralda. I think all the other cows are dead. Look at this. I am doing... Look at the teeny tiny bit of damage I'm doing to this thing. It's ridiculous. All I'm doing is going through my uh, ammo. And look at this one's not even hurt. That's because it's legendary and it's reg regaining its health. Well, I'm going to have to say that this is a failed mission, everybody, because I can't hit this thing fast enough to, to do any damage to it. Oh, mother. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's on to me. Why am I walking so damn slow? I'm not even crouched. Why am I going so slow? Let's move. Ouch. Oh, what was... Oh, you got all his health back. All right, screw this. He keeps getting all of his health back. I mean, I know he's a legendary, and that's what they do, but... Hell, I don't have enough... I can't do enough, enough damage to those things. Yep, it failed. Oh, well. Too bad. I'm out of here. Good lord. Well, I guess that's the drawback to, um... Doing an event with a very high-level player, huh? They, um, they tend to draw very high-level enemies. <laughs> oh, well. Gosh, I hope they're not following me. The ground is still shaking like crazy. Sorry, Ardithius. I, uh, I am not equipped to help you, pal. Uh, I thought that would be fun to try that, but uh, that was a horrible failure. I think I still got some experience for it. I don't know. But let's get the hell out of there. <laughs> This is the way we came, I think. Uh, I could go back to my quests and uh, turn this one back on, investigate the Southern Bell Motel. We could do that. Southern Bell Motel's in this direction here. Uh, so yeah, why not? Mine some iron while I'm here. Could use it to make some steel, I believe. Yeah, I was, I was way out of my league fighting level 80 legendary sheep squatches. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, so here's the motel. And, um, I mean, level 28 hound. That was a pretty good amount of damage there. And just hold perfectly still while I kill you, hound. Mats isn't picking anything new up. But we know there's at least one super mutant over here. Because we saw him earlier. And also where there's uh, mutant towns, there's generally, there's generally super mutants. What was that? There was Boomer? Is Boomer a player? A level 14? No. Boomer, no. There's not a level 14 dude over here. Boomer must be a Mr. Handy or something. Oh, okay. Hardware oh, another quest. Detected. Unit is immobile. What's wrong, dude? 
Checking status. Identity of saboteur remains unknown. Civilians advised to exercise caution. Okay. Daily idle explosives talk to Boomer. We get a new quest. I came across an immobile Protectron at the Southern Bell Motel. I should find out what it was doing. Talk to Boomer. Oh, sure. Let's do that. Why not? What else am I going to do? Hi, Boomer. How are you? S unit Boomer. Requesting repairs. Boomer. What's up, dude? I would like to talk to you, but um, why why do I not have the why do I not have the ability to talk to you? I'd like to talk to you. Operation I mean, I know I'm hungry, but will be acknowledged and rewarded. Let's eat something. Let's eat some. Um, oh gosh, canned dog food, I guess. Gourd soup. All right. I can't talk to him. Diagnostics. Is it because I'm in um, my power armor? I don't think so. Good lord. <laughs> uh, collect that. Well, I would like to talk to Boomer, but um, I don't. I'm, I don't have the opportunity to talk to Boomer. So, Civic duties are their own reward. Hardware malfunction unit is immobile and requires assistance. Well, I, I'm sorry, Boomer, but um, I'm not getting the option to talk to you. I, I really wish I would, but uh, it's almost as if you're not even here. And I don't think there's anything I could do about it either. I mean, I could turn Racing off the quest. Responsive request for repairs failed. Yeah, request for repairs failed. I mean, I, I can't help you if I can't talk to you. It's quite frustrating. That's that's very frustrating. You know, that's stupid. Stuff like that shouldn't be happening. I'll just take a look around here. But. I guess it's looking like I'm not going to be able to do this quest. If I can't talk to him, I can't kick off the quest. So, uh, yeah. Ooh, a Nuka-Cola. Doesn't even look like I could get into this hotel. Right? I, I, don't, I don't see a way in. Operation success will be acknowledged and rewarded. This is ridiculous. Well, I can't talk to him. <sighs> I don't know why I can't. What if I hit him? Running diagnostics. Malfunction reconfirmed. BDS unit boomer. Still immobile. Yep, he's still immobile. Golly, man. Well, I tell you. Um, I mean, I could try leaving the server and coming back, but the game... Did I even get... Let me see. Okay, so Southern Bell Motel is showing up on my map now. I wonder whatever happened to uh, Odrithius over there. Golly, there are some high-level people running around here. Civic Crap. Are their own reward. Well, I'm going to try leaving the server and coming back and see if this kicks off again. Wish me luck. All right, so I exited the game, came back into it, and you can see we've got the miscellaneous quest up there to investigate the Southern Bell Motel, so let's do that. we got a level 68 Scorched Conqueror here. That sucks. Must be a bunch of high-level dudes running around on this server as well. Oh, he sees me already. Got freaking eagle eyes. Golly, man, I don't want to fight level 68 dudes. Good grief. I missed him. So, whoops, that's not the right button to press. If I sneak, aren't they supposed to, like, lose track of me? So I'm invisible now. If I sneak over here, maybe I'll get another sneak attack on him. Oh, he's over there now. He's looking at where I was last. Wow. 
That was a damn good amount of damage. Now I'm gonna sneak over here. Quest started free range, event free range. That quest has started back up. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. We tried it once. Let's just stick to one thing, all right? Okay, cool. He's down. All right. Well, that was satisfying. I think there's another one over there, though. I'm over encumbered. Give me a break, seriously. I guess I'm over encumbered. Need to find me a bench. Guess I could just put on my power armor. Maybe I should with these level 68 dudes running around out here. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Okay, I'm gonna turn off that other quest here. Let's go over here. Let's see if we can talk to him this time. If I can't talk to him, well, maybe I'll try the event again. I don't know. Precinct okay, good. Unresponsive. Request for repairs. Failed. Hardware malfunction. Unit is immobile and requires assistance. What can I do for you, buddy? Greetings, able-bodied citizen. Under Law Enforcement Code D-4793, you are now a deputy of the Berkeley Springs Police Department. It okay. is now your responsibility as an able-bodied citizen to carry out the duty <laughs> of this bomb disposal unit, codename Boomer. Information will be uploaded to your pit boy Locate and recover the explosive device or devices to fulfill your civic duty. Okay, Good where's luck, oh, oh. citizen? Your <laughs> chance of success is four seven point nine three percent. I doubt it's even that high, dude. All right, let me go back in here. Uh, Precinct unresponsive. Request for repairs failed. Well, I'd like to turn off this quest just to get it off my screen but there we go get off my screen okay so we're supposed Running to diagnostics malfunction huh. reconfirmed bds unit okay boomer still immobile oh, okay all right good um we're supposed to go in that direction oh good lord hardware malfunction detected unit is immobile well, apparently, I'm supposed to head on back to the, um, the Valley Galleria. So let's go ahead and do that. Leave those cows where they were. Cover some bombs in the Galleria. That sounds pretty dangerous. Pretty scary, really. Somebody planting bombs in the mall. That's, uh, that's scary stuff. No laughing matter. So we're going to walk down here. Across this uh, landscape that isn't scary at all. No reason to be scared here. I'm going to kind of give that farm a bit of a wide berth. For fear of more sheep squatches popping up. Come on, dude, walk. It's not that hard. Okay, I'm out of action points. Vats isn't picking anything up over there. All right, let's go. I guess, um... Last episode, I picked up a bunch of stuff and forgot about it. Because I'm surprised to find that I'm over encumbered already. But uh, I'm pretty sure there's some benches in here. What's this here? Well, you know, picking stuff up like this certainly doesn't help either. <laughs> right? <laughs> Why am I over encumbered? All I'm doing is carrying around a bunch of iron and aluminum. Well, as I always say, 
doesn't matter whether you're one unit or a hundred units over encumbered. Same effect. So I might as well help myself to aluminum while I'm here. All right, let's move on over to the Galleria. Oh, oh, I'm here. Huh? You remember this place, right? Sure you do. There will be a uh, weapon sitting here. There it is. There will be uh, some stuff in there. And this guy's got some money on him. Somebody just keeps walking by and putting money on this poor corpse's body. Well, that's a long way down. Crap. Um, can I get to the Galleria from here? I can't remember. I think... Uh, man, I think I have to go around this way, don't I? I don't think I can get to it this way. Or can I? Well, I guess I could go down the steps. Or, you know what? I'm being stupid. Hold on. Let me put on my power armor. We'll just jump down there. Just jump down. Nothing to be afraid of in power armor. And plus, then I won't be over encumbered anymore either. Oh, oh, by all means, let's stop and pick crap up. <laughs> I love doing that. That is so much fun. All right. To the Galleria. Again. So actually, I think I have another quest that was sending me back to the Galleria, don't I? I'll have to check that here in a minute. I know, I'm being followed by some stupid bug. I don't feel like messing with it. Oh, I've contracted parasites. That's probably not good. Oh, goody, I'm walking real slow. What did I expect? Oh, boy. Oh, man, look at this. Submerged. <laughs> All right, well, we'll be out of here in just a moment. At least I don't think they could bite me underneath of the water here. What level was that thing? Ouch, stop it, that hurts. I'm just looking for the doors to go in. Oh, look at this. We got a scorch, low-level Scorch Believer here. That's good. All right, let's just go in these doors here. These things might follow me in here. If they do, then I will fight them. But hopefully they won't. Hopefully we won't let the bugs in when we open the door. I hate when that happens. At night, you have your porch light on. You open your front door. Moths and bugs fly in. Okay, well, here I am again, in this place, a place we've visited many times, and there are bombs here, and I'm looking for them. One of them, for crying out loud, one of them is in that general direction. One of them is in that general direction. Let's go over here. This one might be pretty close, actually. Oh, here in the garbage can? Inert bomb, take. Okay, I got one of the bombs. Cool. Hey, do you... Do you I've got an explosive device on me. Do you mind? Okay, there's one up there. Let's see, how can I get up there? Stairs over here. Let's go to get on these stairs and we'll walk up there. So you can see I'm not really paying any attention to these low-level enemies. They're just a, an annoyance, a distraction. And I can't be distracted right now. I've got very, very important work to do. I need to get these bombs. It's very important. Then after I pick up these bombs, I'll look at my quests again and see if I can remember uh, what else was going to take me here. I could be wrong, but I think there was a quest that was going to take me back here. Oh, man. Okay, good. For a second there, I didn't think I was going to be able to get over there because of this broken walkway, but it's okay. Inert bomb number two taken. And the other one is going to be in that direction. I think I can go down for that. So we'll go down here. Continue to ignore these annoying scorched. Here it is right here. Hey, dude, there's a bomb right here. 
Got it. You go away. Oh, that was it? That was the quest? That was the whole quest? Okay. Thought I was gonna have to go back to him, but nope, that's it. Rest completed. Item reward. Scrap. Adhesive. Water. Rounds. Chest piece. Chest piece. That's right, I said chest piece. Not chest piece. Chest piece. <laughs> that was the whole stinking thing, man. We go in here and we look at our, uh... Dude, go away. He's a level 40 guy, but still doing a really nice amount of damage to him. I don't know why they don't have any goodies on him. Um, anyway... Daily events... Idle explosives. Yep, there it is. Um, let's see here. Let me look at my quests. This quest here, it takes us to the White Spring Bunker. This one here, uh, we're supposed to use a transponder. If we look at that one on the map, ooh, the transponder is in this general vicinity. And then I have the one called Early Warnings, where we're supposed to get stuff at the re these relay towers. Tracking unknowns. Track the distress beacon to its source. For some reason, I thought that one of my... Oh, damn it. Go away. Uh, I thought that one of my quests were, would take me back here. I really thought I saw that. Forbidden knowledge. That just goes back to Camp Venture. Overseer, Overseer's mission. Miscellaneous. The mayor's office. None of, none of that. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know which um, which quest I'm thinking of that was taking me back here, because I certainly don't see one now. So, I guess we can get out of here. The problem is there's a bunch of scorched around here, so I'm not going to be able to fast travel. That kind of sucks. But, uh, if I pick another quest, well... I guess I could go back to this early warnings because I was getting ready to uh, travel up here. So I guess I could fast travel to here and then walk on over. I guess that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to fast travel here and then we'll walk over there. Okay, so I've traveled, I fast traveled to here. The game puts me here and off in the distance you can see there's like a little purple mark there and that's a flatwoods monster um we've actually fought this thing once before so i don't really know whether it's worth fighting again i didn't do that much damage to it either so i don't really know if i want to fight it again but that is kind of the direction i need to go in so Maybe we'll... I don't know. I don't, I don't remember if I got any goodies from it last time. Anything really good. I don't remember getting anything really good from it. But I'm doing a bit of sneaking in the hopes that he'll forget about me. Or not forget, but lose track of me. And then I could uh, take some more sneak shots at him. I don't know where he is now, though. Kind of lost track of him. He must be over this ridge here. But this is the direction I want to go in, so we're going to go ahead and sneak in this direction. See if we pick him up again. Not seeing him, though. I don't know where he went. Pretty sure I didn't kill him. I won't worry about him then. Like I said, I fought him earlier in the game. Whoa! Oh gosh! There's a bunch of them. These guys are scary looking. Wow, these guys are really scary looking. 
I want their stuff, though. Go through the trouble of fighting them. Try to be careful and not accidentally drink this water. There is something going on over there. Look at my map. I don't see any players over there. Although I've been told that if a player is in sneak mode, I won't see him. It's a hermit crab over there. It's not exactly the direction I'm going in. So we'll just go ahead and let that hermit crab do his business. We'll head on over here to this, uh, to Ella's bunker. Take a look behind me just to see if I see the uh, Flatwoods monster creeping up on me. You know, something else I just remembered is that I have parasites. Was that in this, on this server or the no, different server? I can't remember now. Effects, parasites, periodic food loss. That's probably pretty bad, but I don't know if it's worth using one of my disease cures on. I have food. Food is much easier to get than disease cures, so I'll just suffer for a bit. I don't know if that's a dumb idea or not. Okay, we're good. Investigate Ella's bunker. Showing up as a miscellaneous quest. And that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to investigate her bunker. And we're going to hope that there's a bench in here. Because I forgot to look for a bench when I was in um, Galleria. I actually don't remember where one was. I'm pretty sure there was a bench in there somewhere, but I don't remember. So hopefully there'll be one in her bunker here. There probably will be. We've discovered her bunker. We have a miscellaneous quest to dis to investigate the bunker, and we also have this early warnings quest to find a heating coil here. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go in. Into Ella Ames's bunker. Okay, that well, looks like just about every other bunker we've been in. Nothing really too special about it. It's not a whole lot going on in here, at least not on this part. And as you can plainly see, there's no bench here, which is a shame. There's a central mo sensor module. I'm going to take it just because I hardly ever see them. Don't know if it has anything good on it that I'm interested in. Let's go check this out. Hmm. Those red lights around the door are making me nervous. Oh, the lights, the door's open. What happened, Ella? Why is your door open? His light wasn't so bright. It's just a little too bright sometimes. I owe you beer. I owe you all the beer. <laughs> I don't know why I felt like I needed to take that. I just like to have a bunch of stuff in my inventory, I guess. Soap. Keep seeing that thing on the ground over there. Thinking it's a note, but it's not. It is not a note. There's that little piece of music again that I was commenting on earlier. It gets played in a lot of places you visit. Lots of beer in here. Somebody really likes their beer. I owe you toilet paper. I owe you one roll TP. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Oh, good stuff in the mirror. It usually is. Usually is good stuff in the mirror. Still have the miscellaneous quest to investigate this bunker. Ah, here we go. Ella's Log, The Mire. Let's take a listen. July 15, 2079. Wow. Who would have thought a little radiation would turn this world upside down? We were down in those bunkers for what? A couple of years? There's no way radiation did all this all by itself in that amount of time. I mean, first off, this place is crawling with those 
orange red vines, the likes of which there, there is no precedent for. I saw a toad that wouldn't even fit in a bathtub. A 12 point with two heads. Be still my heart. And insects. Oh, you don't even want to know about. <sighs> I've started taking samples for analysis. Hopefully the plants can still be used for some good old holistic treatments. Raleigh's getting to work on a series of tests for the water and soil. I don't know. I guess we can count ourselves lucky the air is breathable. But this place... I grew up here, and I barely recognize it. There's no way we were prepared for this. Toxicity levels, slight mutations, yes. But I, I'm telling you, Darwin would lose his mind out here. So she seems to think that it, the, the radiation alone could not have made all these changes, could not be responsible for all the changes that she's seeing. I would agree with that. But if it's not the radiation, what is it? What has caused all these changes? Pulse mine. Oh, I want the plastic from these. Don't see a lot of hampers in this game. Nice little uh, room here. Oh, another note. No more IOUs. Charles Owen Walker. I better not see one more IOU from you around this bunker. You may be a grown-ass man, but I will tan your hide if I have to. Mrs. Ames. Also known as your elder, who you damn well better respect. Still investigating the bunker. Not sure what we're supposed to find here aside from the uh, relay coil. Or the heating coil, I should say. Sometimes you find th things underneath the pillows. So I pick them up. When I remember to. Now I have carrying around all these carrying around all these pillows. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. This bed has no pillows. Not these none of these beds have pillows. What the heck, this is the room for people who don't like pillows. Crazy people. See if I see anything under the beds. I do not. All right. Well, that was that wing. Let's go over here. Pick up this cool fan. I like to collect office desk fans. They're pretty cool, man. Ooh, gold table knife. Take some gold. Oh, I want that mop for some reason. Hey, a fusion core. Cool. I might need that. There we go, there's some good looking stuff in there. Some goodies in here for us. A plunger, gotta have that. Hot plate, tin cans. Bunch of computer terminals up there. Oil, we know we need oil. You know what I haven't found yet is a bench. Sure hope there's one in here. Although, as long as I have the power armor on, I'll be fine. Find? I'll be fine. Ugh, oh, so many tin cans. Blue paint. Alright, I'll take it. Oh! I owe you whiskey. <laughs> I owe you one bottle of whiskey. Oh, <laughs> totally missed this. I got the heating coil. <laughs> All right, that's pretty weird. I just totally overlooked that, man. Sheesh. Still more to see here. Is there really no bench in here? I guess I'm spoiled, man. Expect to see benches everywhere. There's no bench in here, damn it. Oh, crap. Oh, well. Well, we'll manage somehow. 
we will somehow manage. It's a goodies in here. Look at these microscopes I'm picking up. Those things are heavy. Uh, scorched mole rats. <laughs> I'm taking all of our microscopes. I need this stuff, man. This is important stuff. Uh, it says surgical tray, strangler pod, pencil. Boy, that sure does look like a note, doesn't it? I guess it's not. Looks like there's a pencil there, too, that I can't seem to pick up. Mentats. Ella's terminal. We'll get to that. Alright. Can I use this terminal? I can. Free states. Do no harm, but take no shit. Research studies. Disclaimer. All theories here should be taken with a bucket load of salt. I may have a PhD in medical science and an honor honorary mention in the world of holistics thanks to my mama, but given the current state of things, I'd hardly call myself an expert. Rad shield. Like my granny always said, the forest provides. I found some fascinating research by the original folks from Vault 94. God rest their souls. From what I gather, they were using flowers from a red vine to protect against radiation. I'm pretty sure they're talking about the stranglers we're infested with today. I transferred my research files onto a hollow just to be sure I got all my ducks in a row when I show this to Raleigh. He's gonna flip. Now for the bigger challenge, getting there in one piece. I'm taking Randy's shotgun in hopes he'll look after me. If you come across a mangled little body, it's probably yours truly. Just quit your crying and get that hollow to Raleigh. Scorched. Information gathered on the scorched and scorched beast since Harper's Ferry was lost. Radiation signature. From a series of tests, it appears the scorched emit a unique radiation signature. The emission is weak, so unlike some of the highly radioactive counterparts of some creatures in the area, they can't harm you by being in close proximity, unless you're in arm's reach or they've got a gun on you. I'm hoping Naraj can do something with this information. Maybe he can rig up some sort of device that can warn us if it picks up the signature. Group recognition? We already know the scorched disease can infect any living creature. Anything from mole rats to humans. It doesn't discriminate. At Harper's Ferry, we observed a combination of scorched beast and scorched attacking side by side. Since then, we've also seen other scorched creatures that seem to acknowledge the other is afflicted with the same disease. It's questionable whether they're working together or if they simply recognize they aren't enemies. Could this be more of a parasite than a disease? Maybe even something more advanced like a collective intelligence? Scorched Beasts The Scorched Beasts have definitely won the title of Apex Predator in Appalachia. There's no doubt they've evolved from some species of bat, which makes them quite fascinating creatures due to their size. I'd like to think it was one of those cute pygmy bats we used to chase out of the caves when I was little. Daddy always said they'd have their revenge. I'm not about to pull off any DNA testing in this lab, so all I can do is theorize. But assuming they retain bat-like qualities, it's at least worth a shot to see if we can use some sort of high-pitched frequencies to confuse the hell out of them. Disease is work in progress. Reminder, add information regarding the following diseases once you manage to get some proper rest. Sludge lung, glowing pustules, and bone worms. Okay. Journal. There's more, folks. Uh, the fun and exciting thoughts of Ella Ames, Harper's Ferry. We're back from Harper's Ferry. It did not go as planned. We put up a good fight, but Mother Nature's truly trying to reclaim what she's lost, with a little evolutionary help from mankind's meddling, I'm sure. The sheer devastation of that town in what felt like the blink of an eye is heartbreaking. We weren't ready for that kind of attack from that manner of creature. We only heard the stories, but now we know the threat is real. Raleigh wasn't about to let us try and pick up the pieces, not after the wounded succumbed to whatever this scorched disease is. So now we're back, and I pray to God we can find a way to fight this. Us versus them. I talked to Raleigh today about making contact with the responders. 
I sure could benefit from their expertise with all this scorched research. Of course, they refused, saying we don't have the resources to help anyone but ourselves right now. From a logical standpoint, it's true. We have nothing to spare after our efforts at Harper's Ferry, I and I understand why we're back. We need to figure this out to survive, and it'll benefit more than us when all's said and done. Jacob. Jacob offered to go on a little flower hunt for me. He swore up and down he could identify red clover and passion flowers like the back of his hand. You'd think he was a kid going flower picking for his mama, he seemed so excited. Of course, it's been a while now and he hasn't returned. I never should have let him go, or at least gone with him. Thank God Charlie volunteered to go look for him, even though he refused to let me go with. Secrets. I saw Niraj today, doctor to patient. After many discussions on family history and symptoms, we both believe he's in an early stage of Parkinson's. Obviously, there's no way to know. Of course, he made me swear not to tell anyone. Just another secret in the back of my head. Jesus. Raleigh would kill me if he knew. First his best friend, and now Niraj. All I need is for Eddie to come crawling to me with cancer next. Yeah, I remember when we were in Raleigh's bunker that there was a note or something about his friend leaving him. Or something like that. Free states notifications. Uh, I think we've already read these. Um... Yeah, we've already read this stuff. So we read these on a different terminal. About the vine heart and stuff. Okay, we already read all that. Okay, quest started an organic solution. We're supposed to find Ella's research. On a chem called Rad Shield. Now that I've gotten the fan motors... Oh, this is this quest. Uh, uh let's see. Side quests... An organic solution. I found the terminal of a woman named Ella Ames, who said she was braving the mire to deliver some research. She claimed it was for something called Rad Shield, that could be more powerful than Rad X. I should find the research to see if it could prove successful. Where did we see Rad Shield mentioned? I didn't see that mentioned anywhere. On the map, this is uh, oh, it's going to be up here. Okay, interesting. That little circle at the Southampton Estate. Well, um, so, I guess we're done in here. Strangler pod. The hell's a strangler pod? I don't know. Take some mole rat meat, why not? Well, I guess we could leave here. Don't think there's any anything else for us here. We got what we came for, and then some. Kind of hate to go back outside. It's dangerous out there. How are we doing? We are uh, getting close to um, over encumbrance, even with this super duper excavator power armor on. Gonna have to find a bench here. Hopefully sooner rather than later. When we get out here, I'm gonna look at the map and decide where to go next. Decide if I wanna go north to Ella's research or if I wanna continue on to the other heating coil at the relay tower. Look at our map. The relay tower is way over here. Ella's research is up here at the Southampton Estate, a place I have been before. But I don't really remember it. What I do remember is that this was a pretty hairy area. Um, it's weird. I've not seen it show up on my map. Oops. Let me uh, let's turn off early warnings. So I guess Ella's research is in that direction. But it's not. What the hell? Why is, um... Hmm. It's pointing me in this direction here. Right? That's what my compass is doing. But if we look at the map... Ella's research is up there. Why is it pointing me in this direction? I don't know. 
I don't I don't like it. Um I think I kinda wanna go in this direction, don't I? Uh man, I got these big I don't even know what you call these rock formations to get past to get up this direction. I'm not even sure I can get through here. I probably can't. I've been told not to run in power armor. What if I want to go fast? <laughs> eh, crap. This is a dead end, dog on it. Huh, this is interesting, though. Oh, go away. You guys annoy the crap out of me. There. Shut it. Hey, look, a bench. Cool. <laughs> Alright, so it's not all bad I went this way. There's like a doctor here, and there's another body here. Tinker's workbench. We're going to do some scrapping. We're going to scrap some weapons that I picked up and my travels. Um, uh, we we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, cool. Lots of scrapping. Don't think I have any apparel I want to scrap. Well, maybe I do. Actually, I have a bunch of stuff all of a sudden. Let's move on. So, can't get through here, I don't think. I mean, I guess I could, I don't think I, can, I can't get up there. Oh, well, I can't get in here though. I think, can I get in? Let's try to get in this place. Sledgehammer there. Oh, why did I take that? I don't know. A T60 headlamp bright. Sure, let's take that. Maybe one of these days I'll figure out how to use those. I know that several of you have told me how to do it in the comments, so I'll have to go back and read how to do that. Oh man, maybe I could climb this tree and get up there. That would be awesome. Before I do that though, um, let's go back over here and scrap this stuff I just picked up. Okay, let's see if we can climb up this tree and get out of here. That would be so cool. Nope. Oh. Well, good thing I'm in my power armor so I don't hurt myself. Scorch is out. Oh, that's the one that I just killed, huh? Probably. Let's try that again. If walking in this power armor makes this more difficult, or if it makes any difference at all, the box down there. I mean, do I want to go this way? I think I do. Oh, nice. Oh, no. <laughs> I almost fell off. Cool, man. I made it through. Diseased gulper newt. Okay, that didn't do anything. It's weird. It's like he's dead already. Uh, which direction am I going in? Well, not that direction. This, this direction? Man, that doesn't feel right. All right, whatever. This direction. Gonna walk through here. Back up to Southampton Estate, a place we've. I think we visited before. Pretty sure we did. I mean, it's blue on my map, so that would indicate that I have visited, bef visited it before. Vats isn't picking up anything. Might as well reload this. I'm thinking about it. Are we there yet? Little stream here. Pretty nice. 
Man, I've got 50% health. I should probably do something about that while things aren't too crazy, huh? Uh, I'm thirsty too. So, let's see. I think a Nuka Cherry will give me some health. Is that right? Yeah, look at that. Oh, for some reason, I just got some experience points. Why did I just get experience points? I don't know. Something die nearby? Oh, we gotta be getting close. What's this right here? Just uh, some logs. You know, logs. So here we are at the estate. Let's see what happens if I get close to it. Is there any enemies here? You know, something flying around. We all know how annoying that can be. Shot it. Oh man, he's high level. Man, I got a two times damage sneak attack for that guy. Is it one upstairs, maybe? Oh, what the? Why am I taking these proboscises? I don't know. Bladed Knuckles mod, I don't care about that. Well, there's Ella Ames right there. <laughs> well, why are you walking away from her? Well, I'm walking away from her because it's time for me to end this episode. <laughs> I just wanted to, get, wanted to get close enough so that hopefully when I exit the game and I come back, it'll put me fairly close to this. So we'll see. We'll see if it does or not. Um, ugh, big enemy over there. Uh, like I said, time for me to end this episode. So I uh, hope you'll come back and join me next time while we go up there and uh, find Ella Ames' research and continue on playing Fallout 76. Thanks for watching, everybody. I sure hope you join me again in the next episode.